Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to be looking at the two disturbances in the Atlantic to see if they can form into Larry and Mindy. We're also going to be looking at Tropical Storm Kate and Tropical Depression Ida. Now before we go to get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Here's the five day graphical tropical weather outlook that we're looking at right now. As you can see, we have the tropical storm Ida right now. It did make landfall yesterday afternoon in Louisiana. Right now it has maximum sustained winds of 30 knots or 35 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 999 millibars, located at 32.6 north, 90.3 west, and movement is north northeast at 8 knots or 9 miles per hour. Not much of a wind threat with this anymore, uh, but we are going to see a significant amount of rainfall as this moves off to the northeast into uh, Nashville, um, Kentucky, Virginia, uh, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, even uh, portions of the New England area could see some pretty decent amount of flooding here. And even south, southern uh, Pennsylvania, you could see upwards of 6 to 10 inches of rainfall. So that's definitely a lot of rainfall. It's going to cause a lot of flash flooding in more of southern Pennsylvania. Even northern West Virginia could see a significant amount of flash flooding uh, throughout the next few days. Let's go and look at Tropical Storm Kate right now. As of 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Monday, August 30th, has max sustained winds of 35 knots or 45 or 40 miles per hour, a minimum sensor pressure of 1,006 millibars, located at 22.7 north, 50.9 west, and move is north at 9 knots or 10 miles per hour. This is expected to bring no threat to land. It is just going to go north in the Atlantic um, as of right now. You have disturbance 2 over here in the Caribbean, which Hurricane Ida did form. So this will be quite interesting here to see if disturbance 2 will do anything. Ida really didn't affect the waters too much it, the waters are still pretty hot here over in the gulf of mexico and even in the caribbean we're seeing some pretty warm waters still so this could definitely have a decent chance at developing we also have disturbance one a 90 percent chance of cyclone formation in five days which that goes straight west so it'll be interesting to see if that also has a threat uh, to the u.s let's look at the current satellite imagery for invest 90 l and this is the one that has a 90% chance for cyclone formation in five days. We have a pretty big amount of convection blow up in the southern part of the storm. The uh, kind of circulation, the middle of the circulation is around this type of region right here. So more of the southern storm, we are seeing more convection than the more northern part of the storm. We're still seeing some convection kind of trying to wrap around the center. Um, you can definitely see these clouds moving quite fast and those are more lower to the surface. As you can see, these are more higher cloud tops because these are thunderstorms. Due to the high pressure, Invest 90L is expected uh, to go west a bit, but because of that high pressure, like I said, it's going to be going north at about 72 hours. It's going to make a turn north, so it doesn't look like it's going to have the biggest threat to the U.S., but still definitely something to watch, and especially disturbance one, as it is in the Caribbean, It the, because of the higher pressure is going to bring it just north, and it's pretty much not going to have anywhere to go from there. It's going to have to go into uh, the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico due to the current high pressure your status um, but as you can see invest 90l currently has no threat to the u.s but as you can see up here at the end it does have a little turn to the west we do have an symbol actually bringing it over to the caribbean and even over to the lesser antilles so definitely still something to watch here stay tuned for the other updates for invest 90l now again this doesn't have any threat to the u.s but we do have model intensity guidance which this does bring it to a category one or even a pot possibly a category two hurricane even high in category two hurricane so uh, definitely this could be a pretty major fish storm um even though it will not have any threat to land um but then again we also have some in symbols which are bringing into the caribbean so we're definitely going to have to uh, watch this one pretty closely let's look at the current sea surface temperatures for the northern atlantic now as you can see we're seeing about uh, 28 to 29 Celsius waters, which are pretty warm waters in this main development region. We're also seeing around 28 to 29 Celsius over in the Caribbean in that type of region. But more than northern Caribbean, you see around 29 to even 30 Celsius waters. Over in the Gulf, we still have 
of around 30 to 31 Celsius waters. We are we were seeing some more warm waters, and that's probably due to Ida uh, getting all of those warm waters. We're even down to around 28 Celsius waters over here next to Flora, and that's probably due to Hurricane Ida rapidly intensifying and grabbing all of those warm uh, water, warm moisture components uh, to bring it to that Category 5 hurricane at the last moment uh, before it made it to Louisiana. So that's why those waters are a little bit more cooler but it is extremely warm still so these so these tropical storms if they do into the gulf it will have some of that instant rapidly intensification and even over here you have 29 celsius that's still going to have uh, rapid intensification within those tropical storms even if they uh go in this type of direction here we even have some cooler waters over here 28 to 27 celsius water so Definitely not extremely warm in the main development region. As you enter the Gulf, you have extremely warm waters still, even after uh, Category 4 Hurricane Ida. Stay tuned for updates. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss another update on these uh, upcoming possible tropical cyclones. And also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want a latest update on the tropics. But anyways, stay safe.